It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vocation Brewery and it's a can of their Tropical. It's a 440 milliliter beer coming in at 5.7% ABV, uh, a double dry hop pale ale with HBC 630 hops in it. So that will be an experimental hop that they've gone for here to use. I I like Vocation. I like Vocation. The, the recent Vocation beer that I had was the um, they done like a Bonoffi Pie beer, Imperial style. I really enjoyed that one. Um, this is part of the brand new Tesco craft beer range. I wanted to mention um, it cost me two pounds forty in Tesco, which is pretty good, pretty competitively priced. Get it out into a glass, see what we get. I think Tesco are, are, and working with these breweries, they're still finding their feet. Uh, they've been doing this thing now with the uh, craft beers for about three years, Tesco. Um, started off with the blueberry muffin stout which I thought was gorgeous from um, Vocation. Uh, one of their best beers ever. Totally love that beer. Um, I hear version 2 wasn't as good, but they've been doing this thing for three years now and I still think they're finding their feet. Um, with pricing, I think they're finding their pre feet with pricing. I think there's a lot of tweaking going on behind closed doors. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll give the beer an initial look and review and we'll get into the pricing in a bit I think it's very important that we do touch on that subject though uh, we got a one finger white head hazy straw coloured tropical looking beer um, not too much in the way of carbonation there's a little bit of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass but not not too too much going on there. Let's get the aroma. Mm. Oh, that's better. Get my nose right underneath it. A little bit of passion fruit, a little bit of, little bit of mango, a little bit of grapefruit. Touch of pineapple. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that is really hot. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> um. I think this can of beer, or this this batch of cans that Vocation have brewed for Tesco. Are probably one of the freshest beers that I've ever tasted not just not just from Tesco but like forever when you put quite a lot of hops in a beer and you can it straight away and then you drink it really fresh the hop will actually give you a slight burn I can feel it right now on the back of the throat. It's a thing, it's hot burn. It's just the hops being so, so fresh. And and they've used they've used quite a bit of hop in this beer. You can you can feel it. They haven't held back on the hops. Um It's a really interesting one. I mean for £2.40 a can, that is that is 
kind of wish I'd bought another can and left it for three weeks just to let that hop burn, just, just die off a touch. It's super, super fresh. There's a little bit of an astringency in there. There's something... Something not quite right with this beer. It's drinkable. It's very refreshing. It's very hoppy. There's a slight, almost like a slight sourness going on. A real astringent bitterness on the back end as well, a real kind of astringent bitter kind of flavour right on the back and there's, a, there's something slightly sour about this beer, slightly slightly off-putting. It's not, you've all, I mean if you've been watching the channel for a long time, I'm nearly seven minutes in, you see that I'm, if I really enjoy a beer, you know, it's flying back type of thing, I'm really knocking the beer back but in this case, I'm holding back, I'm like, Ah, I'm, I'm like, uh, just not quite, it's not quite doing it for me. And come to think of it, when you're able to really rock the beer around in the glass now and get a good aroma from it, Like a touch of garbage or maybe a rotting vegetables or I don't think with my very limited brewing knowledge I don't think that they've let the beer boil enough when you don't let the beer boil enough um, you can be left with a little bit of DMS, a little bit of rotting vegetables. And this beer, this this certain can is, I'm finding it suffering that, that very same fate that it's not quite, it's a little bit of D, not massive, but a little bit of DMS in there. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It's a shame because I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to like it. Maybe batch two. Maybe trying this beer in the future. Maybe trying this beer if, if it wasn't as fresh. Yes, a beer can be too fresh. I think the beer's too fresh. The hops are really hot, as we say in the industry, burning the throat. They haven't boiled the, 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 the beer enough. It's given a little bit of DMS. It's not so great. It's not so great. I want to touch on the price. I didn't think I'd be talking about the beer as long as I have been. I want to touch on the price. Right, so um, I spoke at the very beginning of the review about um, Tesco and their price points. Are they still kind of finding their market, if you like, of how to price the beers? Well, they started off with a £3 can of craft beer. They were okay. In fact, they, um, some brewers knocked it out the pack. They made some smashing beers for three pound a can. Um, and I think they went in at three pound a can because the bottle shops and the can shops, you know, you, you, you could be paying anything from four to five to six to seven, maybe eight pound a can these days for a can of craft beer. So they wanted to undercut the competition, the bottle shops. Um, and then, then I think they tried to bring out a few beers that were above that, you know, and in, people including myself were saying, come on Tesco, bring out an Imperial Stout at, at, at £5 a can, I really wouldn't mind paying for it. 
So they went down that road with a few beers of £5 and I think they may not have sold very well unfortunately because um, they reverted back from where we were at £3 a can, now they've taken it down to £2.40 and that's three years later, three years later, £2.40 a can. Um, I don't think it's enough, I don't think, I think the margins are too tight for the brewers to produce a can of craft beer of real good quality for £2.40. I think it needs to be higher. It needs to go back to £3 a can. But the, the issue Tesco have is that we've just gone through the situation of 2020, 2021. Lots of people have lost their jobs and the people who, who, who could have maybe afforded a three to five pound can of craft beer in Tesco now can't so much. So I think Tesco have looked at the situation and they've looked to bring their prices down. But to the detriment of the beer, really, to the the beers now suffering a little bit with that cut in the price point. That's um, that's a four out of ten for me. Four out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.